that's the perfect timing hope <laughs> that you're gonna continue just like that perfect indicator for that type of hi guys here's miana and don't get me wrong but we're gonna be trading again again and again all the links below this video are just in my bio i'm gonna put it just at the beginning so you can follow it <laughs> before you get disappointed by this video no i think this strategy is going to be a nice one when i've been testing that and i've been using that sometimes with the skin indicators i'm kind of satisfied so that's my prognosis let's get it on just let's get it on oh it's your style one minute is going to be for us 500 for a start so we're going to finish with a nice sum i think at least I hope so. Moving average, then we're gonna add some eggs. It's gonna be eight, a little bit thicker. Uh huh. You may see that that's actually pretty changed. And eggs, hate it or love it, better love it. It's nice if you know how to handle that. And if you hate it, just skip it, I, I think. No, none of us actually should, 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 should be testing ourselves. So this is the Williams. So we just got this track with all these numbers. I've been thinking, is it seven or eight? Because talk and check and choose in is a little bit too much for the one tiny brain. Currency pairs with the biggest payouts, a little bit like, Oh, no, 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 it's skipping 91 because here in the list and here just and the bar is a little bit different. But it's fine. A few percents actually not that killing the final sum and we just gonna be okay with that because we have no choice actually. <laughs> so guys, here we are, moving average, ADX and Williams. And I think that's gonna be a nice one. At least by first glance, first look at the chart and indicators and situation here, of course, just the simplest. That's kind of nice. Let's go. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> uh, changing and switching. So I think this is the middle of the support trend and um, a little bit risky because we may actually uh, we may actually have a finish of that trend, but I still think we have the space for that. First of all, because the ADX line are about to be crossing, and that means for us that it's going to be the different, different trend, like the opposite one, but we still have some space. Williams line a little bit, yep, in the upper position, and it seems like we don't have any space to grow more. But you know, with this type of indicators, if it is even flat but located in the upper part of its own chart, that's enough for us to be sure that it's going to be the growing. And of course, somewhere here, we may expect the end of the trend, the plateau and the opposite trend, and maybe this is it. And now ADX line started to close all of that, but we are quite quite finishing and that's the perfect timing just the perfect timing because we are not about the tendency we are not guessing the tendency we are about the estimated level right here classy not gonna get here for long we are about to be at the bottom and then we're gonna be just breaking i think that's gonna be happening quite soon and adx is giving us that hint let's check it out so look at that it's a little bit not like the perfect crossing of all the three lines but anyway don't forget we do check this green line of the adx that's important and this all like things of crossing and happening it's been crossing not that you know perfectly just in the one one place but anyway this crossing actually happened one more look at that soft smooth <laughs> long trend of getting upward and it's been actually threatening us a while ago that we gotta get downward a little bit but now i think this is the time because first of all adx line look at that in some strategies adx 
actually kind of useless or extra or the last one to check. But in this one, that's the first one. That's the plateau. I'm not going to be worried about that. I'm just going to skip it and get into results. It's not that fast and nobody tell us it's going to be that fast. That's the plateau. We just finished in that peak. And you know, sometimes it is like that. We have this smooth tendency of getting upward and we have this smooth tendency of changing. I cannot say that you can actually follow all this like, you know, once like a drawing so it's not like the patterns or the laws of market but these observations actually may help don't ignore that if you feel it maybe it's gonna be like that that's good and you may see like just proving what i told you before here is like the pattern we're getting upward that's definitely here's just like a pattern but it's kind of sharp all those heels are sharp so drastic growing and drastic falling. Maybe with a few candles, but anyway, it's kind of sharp, just as I told you. Um, right here, I do expect that's going to be the downward trend, but risk. With this small and tiny tendencies, we are risking because, yeah, we could correct about this tendency just in the beginning. And two options, as I always tell you. We do expect that we're going to be correct about the second heel. So we're going to be in one minute on the second heel and again on getting downward. Or that's going to be the drastic changes of it. And I must say that here was no signs that we're going to get upward and drastically upward or the pattern is going to be that break, bit broken. And ADX line crossing at that actually were a while ago. So we can expect that the massive tendency, ADX about not about the candles, that's about the massive tendencies. And to catch that massive changes of the long, long period of getting upward, just changing to the long, long period of getting downward, that's, that's beautiful and that's kind of safe. I think that's the beginning. I think we may safely hope <laughs> that we're gonna continue just like that maybe we needed to enter a little bit earlier but that's the time and yep adx line just crossed it doesn't it doesn't mean that it's not gonna be any orange candle on that but it means that this tendency will keep <laughs> So you may see it, lots of the different candles changing itself, but in the moving average, just proving us right, the massive tendency to get upward, and ADX is right here, right now, the perfect indicator for that type of changes. That's a good one. I cannot say this as good as MACD, but if you are, want to try something new, want to test your experiences, you know, in different ways, ADX is a nice one in that case. Just as I told you, it feels like I get no lies <laughs> because I like that. I got so, you know, the perfect, perfect, perfect thing to check is how you feel before you started and how you feel after you started. And that's not about the profits because sometimes I get my profits, but I'm devastated. I'm, I don't know, overwhelmed, exhausted, I'm mad. And uh, that's about the strategy. And that's about how easy it was to read, how easy it was to use. And if you want to recommend it, you know, like share that, like over share with somebody. That's the good sign. That's it. That's yours.